Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to be showing how to set up a pin box so you can play games like uh, Breath of the Wild on your 3DS, which I have up right there. So first, you're going to want to go to this download link. I'll have it in the description. And this does have audio, but it sometimes glitches like the delay. But I am going to be using it just to show off the latest version. So you want to download these two files. And once you have them, you're going to want to go into here. Drag all these files into your 3DS uh, folder. It has to be homebrewed, obviously. And drag all those into the 3DS folder. And then you also have to open up this uh, pinbox server. Open server.config. This isn't mandatory, but server.config notepad. You want to set this to 0, this to 60 or 30. And then network thread. All this other stuff, keep the same. And then I am going to have to hide my screen real quick. Because... again you're gonna want to open up a uh, homebrew and once you restart your console you should be able to go into homebrew launcher scroll down until you see pin box and I might have to hide my screen real quick just because I got to type in my IP so once you put in your IP at the bottom you're gonna want to click start And then it should show your computer screen. And then to set up uh, controls, open up Yuzu or any emulator of your choice. I'm going to be using Yuzu for this test. So open up Yuzu. And it is recommended that you have a new Nintendo 3DS just so you have the extra thumbstick. But you don't need it, you just, like, with Zelda to move your camera and many other games, you need to move your camera. So, yeah, so it's recommended you use the new Nintendo 3DS. It does work with the older 3DSs, it's just you gotta find out how to do that. Now, we are going to be testing it with uh, Breath of the Wild, but just to set up controls, click here, player one, set this pro controller. Input device, uh, is it connected even? Oh. Ooh, my server disconnected, crap. Yeah, sometimes with Pinbox, it disconnects your server. So you just gotta restart it. And once you do that, if you head into here, I have to boop boop. You should see, you should see this little thing that says xbox 360 and you might have to mess around with the controls like that is that that is what the sometimes the controls just don't work none of these are working though what the Oh, yeah, I forgot this. Oh, yeah. I gotta reconnect, that's why. So, if you have to reconnect, just open your 3DS. Exit. Sometimes your 3DS will crash. That's fine. It won't damage your 3DS or anything. So, I'm just gonna click start. I'm in. And then I'm gonna boop, boop. Okay, see how it's working now? That, 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 that. And you just configure it how you want. It's like how you would expect. Uh, by default, start is plus and then minus is select. And then D-pad works perfectly fine. This works perfectly fine. This works perfectly fine. And let's boot up the game real quick. 
and I'll also show my 3DS. As you can see, it's also loading. It takes a minute. It'll take a minute to sync up. So just go AFK for a minute. Wait until it syncs up perfectly. This is why I use the th the the point three because it's it just it syncs up better. Or it might be a configuration thing. Oh, wait received. That's why. Don't turn wait received on, okay? That's the one thing I gotta tell you. Do not use wait received. So here, let me see, show you guys. So I'm starting it up. Open up Pinbox on your 3DS again. So you just don't want to turn on wait received because basically it waits until your computer receives the input, I believe, until it sends it back to the computer. So I'm just going to type in the IP. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And it should have the uh, little... And, yep, now it's a lot more synced. Still not perfect. They're still working on compatibility, but it also has audio support. So I'll just show you guys quickly me playing Breath of the Wild. And I'll also, actually, I'll pull up my 3DS view as well. So this is what it looks like off of my 3DS. It's okay. It's just loading Breath of the Wild. And as you can see, it works pretty well. This is all being controlled. It might be a little laggy at first. Just give it a minute. One, two, three, four, five should be good. Like, you gotta mess around with it. All I can really say is that. That's why. For now, don't use 2.4. They haven't updated this in a while. But just don't use 2.4. Just use 2.3. Because. Like, the delay. Like, watch here. And then I'll pull up my 3DS. See how it's still delayed? That's why I don't recommend it. Here, uh, here, let me quickly pause and I'll boot up 2.3 and see how much faster it is. Okay, so I do think, okay, now I should be loaded onto 3, 2.3 instead of 2.4. So honestly, just a better version. Like, I'm pretty sure you can use... Like, on your 3DS, you could use the 2.3 version, and then the server 2.4. Oh, I accidentally crashed my 3DS. There you go. So, that will give you semi-auto support? Audio support? I'll show you guys what I mean. So, you can't really do that, but, like, if you want, you can. So, I'm loading up Pinbox now for you. Sorry this video is a little long. I just can't really. It's very difficult to get Pinbox to work. There, it's it hasn't been a new release in like a while. Okay, there we go. That's already so much better. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't play much Breath of the Wild, so I'm not good. But like.